excuse me. What do you think he's doing? <laughs> We're currently at the getaway house in Catskill, New York. It's this gorgeous, tiny cabin. Leo and I are finally living out our tiny home uh, fantasy. And we're here because it's my birthday. We're celebrating it. And instead of cake, I wanted to make a charcuterie board. So I decided that I wanted to show you how to make a charcuterie board the way I like it. Uh, the first thing you do is to prep your sausage. <laughs> oh, that looks so wrong. Let me to the kitchen. First thing I'm doing is slicing up some sausage. You can choose whichever one you like. This is just some salami. I'm gonna put some prosciutto slices and chorizo on other parts of the board. For slices of meat like this, I like to do a little cone. Just kind of, kind of wrapping it up like that. You're just kind of folding it into itself. Do you have a little cone? Here in our little fridge, got a bunch of cheese. <laughs> it's so stinky in here. <laughs> it smells like ass. When I'm making these boards, I like to think of the number three, okay? A nice trio. Tres, trois, that lo, some. So I have three different types of meat. I also like three different types of cheese. Rude. Rude. I like to go with a blue, uh, a hard or semi-hard cheese, and then a nice soft, super stinky cheese. That is mandatory. So here I have one of my favorites. Uh, this is the Kerrygold Cashel Blue. Uh, this is a nice raw cow's milk cheese. And then the, uh, I forget what this is called, Saint Albre, Saint Albre. Look for a nice soft cheese, maybe a brie, you know, a triple creme is really nice, a uh, camembert, a uh, pour salut, whatever you find. And if you don't know what type of cheese is to get, ask. It's always nice to open your mouth and you shall receive. Just like to cut the bigger pieces in half. You can always pick up some more. Put this guy here. For the hard or semi-hard cheeses, I like to just crumble it up a little bit with the tip of my knife. You can also slice them up uh, and leave a knife there. But since we are in a cabin and I let go of the inner chef and said, no, leave all of my tools behind except for knife sharpener and blah, blah, blah. I don't have any of those tools, but I just brought along my little board. Or just use this, it's just the two of us. Trying to use the least amount of water as possible while staying here. Uh, but just give your fruits a rinse. Since we're in winter, I decided to use winter fall fruits. I have apple, uh, this is a honey crisp, and persimmon, my favorite. And I was worried this wasn't gonna be ripe, but it ripened up just in time for today. So just slice these up as you normally would. Make sure you have a little acidity on hand. Lemon, in this case I have a lime, just to prevent the apple from browning. It also gives it a nice little tartness. This, it's so good, I just had a little nibble. Along with fresh fruit, I also like dried fruit, so I have some dried figs and apricots. I like boards that are full. Look how pretty little seeds are. Apricots, I leave them whole. You also need something crunchy. You can uh, slice up a baguette. I like these seeded crackers. Uh, so this is a mix of cranberry and pumpkin seed. Oh, so good. Uh, finally, I like to add a little bit of sweetness, uh, maybe some jam. Uh, usually they sell little membrillo. What's that called? Quince, uh -huh. like quince jam. When they the fruit is boiled down, it becomes pink and very sweet. I'm gonna use some cherry habanero jam. This is from our friends at Wright's Farm. And one of my favorite things in the whole world, honey from Honey Ridge Farms. This is their raw honey. So nice, so you could use whatever you'd like. Uh, you could put it straight on the board if you wanna get some honeycomb. I've also done that before. I actually brought this little saucer from home. This is for Palo Santo Sick to uh, catch up the ashes. I'm gonna use it today to hold the jam and the honey. I'm just gonna put everything together. I'm excited to try this cherry jam. It's got habanero in it. Ooh. I did it. 
Oh! 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 Good, okay. It's so good, but I didn't expect it to be that spicy. <laughs> Trying to bring it over, kind of chasing the light over here. I'm gonna go up in the bed. How much you wanna bet? You're gonna drop the entire thing on the bed? No, you gotta believe in me. I believe in you that you're gonna drop the entire thing on the bed. <laughs> thousand times better than a birthday cake. <laughs> Alright, make a wish. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's super easy to make when you don't really want to prepare a meal. You just want a quick lunch, chat with your friends, have a little birthday in the cabin in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, life's good. I love cheese and meat. Let's get filming, man. You need more shots. No, I want to. <laughs> <laughs>